Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, no, no, you're cute. You're cute. I, I, I don't want to pet you, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, uh, oh, 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 what are you going to do? Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, oh, no, okay. No, yeah, no, this, this spray is not for me. So this is the second picture. This is the first picture taken from the last trip to the moon. 17 trips to the moon, they finally give you this picture because the whole reason why they went to the moon was to present to you this picture, was to have an excuse to give you this picture. Right out of the gate, Mr. Do Your Own Research fails to do his own research. Apollo 17's mission was not to take a single photo, nor is this the only photo taken during Apollo 17's time in space. Like every other mission to space, Apollo 17 conducted numerous experiments, ranging from biological to geological to physics applications. Apollo 17 took hundreds of pictures, all of which you can look at anytime you want. The lack of effort shown by Feed Your Mind here is pretty impressive. So now let's go to the th third picture, and this here is. It says right here. Now, now we're getting good because we haven't even started. So it gets a lot more better. Check this out. This is another image from NASA that was captured. Uh, and using, they used to create these images of the Western and Eastern hemispheres in 2001. So NASA captured the data to create these images. See? These images are not real. See, NASA captured the data to create these images. They created, this is Photoshop, okay? Many similar images released between 1972 and 2015 are composite composites of pictures taken at different times. So they're saying, they're basically telling you, in a nutshell, if you read between the lines, they're telling you that all the pictures from 1972 to 2015 are composites of pictures. So that means they're not real. They're telling you this, you're, they're telling you right now that this is a small print, this is the small print detail that most people overlooked because all this time everybody thought they'd seen thousands of pictures of the earth. I'm not going to bore you with his ramblings for the rest of the video. Feed Your Mind repeats his same shtick over and over for the next five NASA blue marble images in this gallery. His shtick is that these photos are fake because they are composites of other images. And since they are composites, they aren't proof that the Earth is a globe. And since NASA tells you they are composite images, that also proves that NASA is hiding the fact that they are composite images from you, so therefore the Earth is flat. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! I'll be back. Uh -oh. Like, why are we just not realizing this? The whole time they told you right here in, in, in print that they're not real pictures. Why? Why were they showing? Why didn't we learn that in school? Like, everybody just assumed the pictures were real. I know nobody questioned them, cause I didn't. I, I mean, everybody thought they, these pictures were real, but they're not, which is very, very disturbing. There is nothing disturbing about any of this. NASA tells you the images are composites. Never mind the fact that the images stitched together to form the composites shown in this gallery are all real satellite images. You know, space satellites. <laughs> This is not real. They use Photoshop. You can't present this as evidence. It's not authentic. You can't present this as a photograph, as photographic evidence in the court of justice. You could not present something like this and say, this is this would not be admissible. It's doctored. It's not real. It's fraudulent. It's fraudulent. It's misleading. No matter what you try to, no excuse you try to come up with, these pictures are not admissible. And it's actually it goes against your case. The images Feed Your Mind is bitching about are not presented by NASA as single complete images of our planet. 
yet Feed Your Mind claims NASA presents them as single complete images of our planet. His evidence is that NASA's own description of the images say they are composite images of Earth. If that's confusing to you, it's because it's confusing. This, this is an official photograph by NASA, it says. So this is what they're presenting to you, and they're also telling you that it's satellite data. They have to tell you the truth, but it's not known. Nobody understands that. Nobody realizes that. Nobody even looks for it, but it's there to cover their tracks just in case, you know, we got to this point where people are calling them out. The Flat Earth called them out. I'm not having real pictures. This is so the, you know, they, they have an excuse. They said, hey, the, we, we told you all along the pictures weren't real. From the beginning, we've told you the pictures weren't real. Look, didn't you read the small print? I guess I would have to say I have nothing really to debunk here. NASA says the images are composites. How is NASA lying to us? By correctly describing their images? I don't know what I would call the fallacy being presented here. Straw man, maybe? Feed Your Mind is somehow misrepresenting my data by correctly describing my data to me. I'll just leave you with this. Please check out all of my other videos and all of my other proofs because they're all strong. I try to make sure every single proof I present is as strong as this one that you're watching right here. <laughs> you serious?